in 200 3d cat models series today i want to work on exercise 40 now exercise 40 is i think i did similar work in my previous series so i'll put the link in the description where i built a almost similar object but since then i I improved my skill. So let's see if I can do it with a little bit more efficiency. I want to place this model on X Z plane. Right and draw. Actually, let's go to XZ here. And I want to place the center right here. So this is the front view. I want to place it right here. Let's go ahead and adjust our center location. okay and i want to build only this half of the object not this half this quarter of the object and then i'll be doing some mirroring all right so let's go ahead and sketch on x z plane that's where this image is and here i want to draw the base first and i can do that with polyline take this bring it here make an angular line flat line there that's my first sketch this length 50 right this height is 10 and this length is let's see 80 divided by 2 so that's 40 there that's my first sketch i'm going to rename that sketch as a sketch one for base all right and i want to extrude that so for half of it half of 50 25 make the extrusion for 25 apply close so there i am now i want to make a sketch for this one for the wall which is five millimeter away from this face all right and this face is 25 millimeter away from the base i want to draw a sketch on y and t on xz plane Nope, that's the wrong way. So I want to go ahead and update that as minus 20. Yep, that, that's what I wanted. So now I want to draw the wall. And that wall will go all the way up. So take this polyline again. Bring it up here make a circular end take it horizontally here bring it down to almost the base level and bring it back so this point the distance between these two is 10 right and let's turn on the section cross view this length is 30 Line and simple given there and this will be horizontal first this radius is 25 over 2 so 12.5 and this length actually the height let's worry about the height we'll take a guess and work for it so this is this will be 40 minus 12.5 that's what it is all right we got our wall and this one we want to push it back so it will be reverse direction for 10 extrude that for 10 in the reverse direction hit apply close there so that's our wall now i want to work on this 
half circle which will be again another half all right and that will be on the same face so what i can do actually i can take this sketch and control c and control v paste it and reuse that sketch on this one i just can go ahead and then make this construction geometry and then i can take another arc from this center and bring it up here take two lines close the gap this will be radius 25 25 there that was pretty simple actually now i want to pull that up by so 10 plus 5 15 so that will be 15 all right that is our i think quarter full so this is one object two and three all these three will be merged into one and i'm going to say one by four object what i want to do i want to mirror it against this face which is xz plane and let's go ahead and mirror that so take this object and mirror it against xz plane right there and i want to make them one object so this is our half object now and i want to mirror this one again against this face which is yz plane yeah. the work center being at the center of the object we could easily mirror it without any more adjustment so that's our object i want to go ahead and refine it a little bit and make it beautiful there it is that's our object if you compare this work with my previous similar object you will see um, the difference in workflow how how these practices help helped me grow into free CAD, and i hope that will be inspiring thank you for watching see you next time bye